I have received a package. It's not from Amazon because I've not bought anything from Amazon. So I suppose that this is a recycled box. And let's open it and see what is inside. Okay, let's see what is inside. I've gone into it. So let me put these things out. Is there anything else here? Oh, another one. Plus a 40 millimeter. Hmm, I like to play with these things anyway. I'll put it aside now. So. Okay, this is the one I bought. Omegon Synfocus Flip Mirror. And it's written for deeper sky, planets and deeper sky, flip mirror. So when you photograph, do astrophotography with a DSLR or any other camera, you don't know if your camera is in focus unless you have live view and with live view you really don't reach focus you, sometimes you reach focus sometimes you don't you have to be fiddling around this makes the work easy so you put your telescope at this end and your eyepiece at this end so you can change between this and these two positions uh, also it came with these two eyepieces I don't know, let me open and see. This is a plus of 40 millimeter eyepiece, which is nice, wide field. And, uh, ooh, this looks nice. Unbranded, but nice. I like unbranded things sometimes. And this one is Ostara, because I know I have one like that. There is some of those. Uh, polystyrene thing at the bottom of it. I have a 40 minute toaster. Right? The way that the print is, it looks like that one. PL40, that is that one. This one is PL30. So, all in all, very good. I have now three items, which goes, goes for a good cause. See, I have uh, now changed the angle of photography here. I've learned a few tricks from the ENS optics. Uh, they buy the things from the eBay and they sell it at <laughs> the eBay. The other day I saw they bought a Wixen 30mm 2 inch barrel eyepiece uh, for £53 and now I see that they put it on sale for £144. So that's the way the world is. And of course. Uh, Good tips on photography is that he always puts the uh, eyepieces like that and in a white background he has a proper uh, he has a cardboard rises up this way he has a diffuser of light and so I've been there about a I made a mistake about a big uh, uh, LX90 mid LX90 from them for around 950 pounds he kept my money for two months. After two months, I had to go and bring it. And uh, yeah, and then I found that that LX 990 you could buy it for 400, 500 pounds in eBay. So good tip anyway. I can use this now like that. So you see the flip mirror. The mirror is this side. If I bring it back, as you can see, it's the mirror figure. Okay. And it flips. And this is the mirror side. This is the telescope side. And this is the camera side. And this is the eyepiece side. How you adjust it is that you 
you point the telescope at a far object then you bring it to focus with this and to a uh, you bring it in focus with this then in focus with this then tighten the position that's it they're ready easy peasy at least in theory Yeah, this eyepiece is at least 30 pound and this one the same 30 pound. Let's see how it looks. Actually not bad. And do I see some chromatic aberration? Probably. But it's a free gift. Now let's go for the plus 30mm one. Okay, no, no chromatic aberration with this. Let me try it again with that 40mm. Chromatic aberration went, it was because of the angle of the camera of the eyepiece. So I don't see any aberration in this one. And um, okay, but I noticed with this eyepiece and this eyepiece is that the lens edge, which is this part, I don't know if you can focus here, is is not blackened. The edge of the lens, you can open up this one and take all the lenses out. Remember correct position of course then with a felt pen black felt pen just blacken the edges of the lens that will improve the contrast a lot you practically make a um, eyepiece which doesn't look very much good to a very good eyepiece by just blackening the edges so if you have an uh, eyepiece that you can open try this technique 